Okay, so I am headed to the CrossFit Games. I think this is the sixth year we've gone, or seventh, one of the two. But anyways, we have a athlete from our gym, Steve, who has competed in the 60 plus division, and I believe this is his fifth year. So hopefully I'm right on that. And he is just an amazing athlete, and we get the privilege to go and coach slash cheer him on. And so I'm super stoked to be going again. It's a really awesome week. Um, the vibes and the energy at the CrossFit Games are just unmatched. And so I'm excited for that, but it is a long week. It's a full week that we're gone. And so it does take some preparation and planning in order to stay on track. Luckily, you're surrounded by a lot of healthy people and healthy food, so a lot of times it is easier to find healthy options, but I wanna come prepared. So I'm going to be packing some things in my suitcase that I already have here, and then when we get there, we'll also be hitting up a grocery store. So, you know, just because I have things on hand, um, it's easy to pack for the CrossFit Games because pretty much all you wear is workout clothes, so it's easy to pack some food with me as well. So I really want to stay on track because I have this full week trip. I'm back for two days. Then I'm going to Vegas for a mastermind for Flex Fuel, which I'm super stoked about. And I'll probably be a little more lax in Vegas, of course. So I will document kind of how I'm staying on track while I'm at the CrossFit Games as well. But I wanted to give you a little peek inside what I'm packing. Like I said, once I get there, I will go to the grocery store. But I like to have some of these staple items so I'm not like having to do a massive grocery haul when I get there. And I like to scope out the hotel. They said we're going to have a big fridge, but I'll believe it when I see it. And we won't have a kitchen. So it's all going to be things that I can throw together, just have refrigerated, but not be cooking. And so I will document that. And then I'll be doing a later video kind of just to show you how I, how I did it day by day. But these are the basics. And you guys, it can be done when you travel. My breakfasts and lunch are definitely going to be more controlled and weighed out. And then my dinners, I like to, when I'm traveling, just leave it to be, it's going to be guesstimated, but that's where we just go out and enjoy a meal. But like you have seen in my previous travel video, there are definitely ways to eat out and still stay on track as well. So if you haven't checked that video out, you should check it out. So I will hit up the grocery store when we get there, but things that I can pack in my suitcase um, and they travel okay will be some bread. I maybe normally wouldn't pack this, but we have it and I'll have room in my suitcase. I'm just packing workout clothes mainly. So uh, bread, rice cakes, those are both great things to put protein on. So I have um, canned tuna. I'll grab some deli meat once we get there. Those are easy to tote along with you, so that will be a main go-to for lunch. Um, I have some microwavable rice that we'll be able to do in the hotel, and then oats are a great option for a solid breakfast, and hopefully I'll be able to pair that with some eggs that they might have there at Continental Breakfast, um, or we'll get some like boiled eggs or something like that. Chicken sausages we can microwave. Um, but this is just easy. You can always do that in your hotel room. Nut butter for some good fats. I might pick up a different kind of nut butter as well. I'm not, a, I don't do peanut butter a ton. It doesn't always sit well with me, but a nut butter of some sort you can put on your rice cakes, on your bread, in your oats, you know, so that's a good, good thing to have on hand. Um, portable, just squeeze, pack, fruit, carbs. You can tote those anywhere, put them in your bag. Um, dried fruits is also a good carb option. I'll probably pick up some other dried fruit, dried mango for sure. Um, these are like crispy things. They're like, really, these packs, I don't even know. It's like one piece. But I'll get more at the store. And then collagen, I will pack a container of this and some of my protein powder. So these are both really great options. They're easy to take wherever. Protein's always hard to come by when you're traveling. So having that extra to supplement is always a really good option.
for working out, I do plan on staying active. My boyfriend's very good at <laughs> just chilling out and he could to take a week off and be totally fine. Um, I like, to, even though it's not gonna be the intensity that it is at home, I like to stay active and at least get a good sweat in the morning. And so I have a couple travel wads next in this video that I'll be doing myself. And then I'm also gonna document when I'm there. I might drop into a gym. I might do them all in the hotel. It kind of just depends on the schedule. So I hope this gives you guys a good idea of things that you can pack, especially when you're flying. And stay tuned for another YouTube video coming soon after I've done all this traveling because I'll show you more details of what I got at the grocery store and then how I handled it all the entire week. <music>